as for the chili, it's, um, you know, I wish I, it hadn't happened. Uh, but in a way, I'm glad it happened. I think it brought attention back to what was happening in the school. I think everybody had said, oh, yeah, everything's fine now. You know, all the reporters went home. And I'm analyzing it from this point mm -hmm. back. And I felt so ashamed and I was so devastated and horrible and felt, you know, that I was just horrible and that I'd done something. Uh, and it much too, I, you know, much too much was made of it, you know, this even punishment and sh she's got to be punished for this, even though, mm -hmm. and that we have to be fair. Oh, suddenly we're fair in mm -hmm. this school? Oh, we're going to be fair this, this time. We're going to suspend her and we're going to suspend them. We're going to be fair. Well, who was fair about all the bruises that were on my legs? And who was fair about all the spit? And who was fair about all that other stuff that mm -hmm. wasn't seen? And who was fair about the stuff that we didn't even bother telling them because we knew there was no consideration for our word? And so um, I didn't read Miss Huckabee's book. I saw her movie. And she, in order for me to sign the release, I told her I wouldn't. And she said, I can't have the movie without you in it. And I said, I have to have final um, agreement on the script. So they sent me the script. And I read it. And they had me this like tough a criminal, like whatever, kind of, what is a tough girl in Little Rock, Arkansas in 1957? Uh, this kind of, um, and I said, I don't like this. I said, that's not fair. You know, you have, a, you know, it's partly I was explaining, I'm getting upset. You know, I was explaining this whole thing of how they were trying to help us make sure we had experiences and that we knew about things and Joyce McClendon used to do marimba concerts, and at Horseman, our music teacher, we did the Messiah, and um, I wanted to be an opera singer, and you know, I mean, this is supposed to be like not exactly a gang girl, right? Right. And um, it, 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 that the the framing of me as a tough girl actually was the most powerful indicator of white people not having an idea yeah. of black life and what it was about and that I had an intellect and that I had creativity and that I thought deeply and I read broadly since I was a little kid and how dare she frame me as some kind of semi-illiterate you know and I mm -hmm. passed all their stupid tests mm -hmm. So I said, I won't, I won't sign it with this, this uh, person. And, you know, plus, this is 1984. I said, I've been feeling guilty. I never told my kids about Little Rock. I don't tell anybody because I'm so ashamed of being expelled. And she says, well, Manny Jane, didn't you know that it was for your own protection? Jean, Manny Jane, you were going to be killed. I said, well, gee whiz, how long did it take somebody to tell me about that? And that whole patronizing, mm -hmm. you don't have the brains, your mother isn't capable, your family doesn't know what kind of danger you're in. To keep that from my family, to keep that from me, mm -hmm. is the, you know, more than the individual acts against the names, the kicking, that's the racism that mm -hmm. is damaging, that destroys, that diminishes and, and that pisses me off, okay?